Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This reading will be a little bit different. Um, it is entitled A Message for You and I feel like if you were drawn to click on this reading, there might be something here insightful, um, some messages that you might need to hear about a current situation you find yourself in. Maybe this is romantically, maybe this is emotionally, maybe this is professionally, but anything that you might need to sort out or any messages that you might need to receive. So uh, please stay tuned. You're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, please feel free to check out your readings for your sign for the month, for the year, which are up on my channel as well. And I do have quite a few playlists. Otherwise, this reading can be for any sign, anyone who sort of was drawn to click on it for any reason. Um, so let's have a look and see what's coming up and what can be revealed what you need to hear, what you need to know, the messages that are important for you during this time, through whatever it is that you find yourself going through or involved in. Okay, you've got the King of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Page of Swords, and one more card, the Ten of Chalices. Okay, let's start off with the King of Wands energy. This is fire energy. The King of Wands is powerful and he summoned, you can see all the lights, all the powerful forces that he summoned. So I feel that a lot of you are summoning a lot of power in a situation, okay? Now for a lot of you, you might be summoning a lot of influence and romantic power over someone. You might be gaining more confidence. You might be drawing in something that's, that's very momentous. There's a bit of buzz and excitement around that card you can see in the King of Wands. Um, it could be around a fire sign in particular, so in Aries or Sagittarius or Leo, uh, with the King of Wands energy. But I feel like it's pointing to, you can see he's elevated here, almost summoning the lights, uh, the messages. So I feel like there's a very either a very powerful force that you're attracting, or there's someone very powerful that's coming in around you. And it's almost like they're leaving a light in their wake. So wherever they go, they're noticed. And this could be you. But there's something that you're leaving behind, almost like a trail here uh, that's coming up for some of you. So uh, that is quite, quite major, quite a summoning of energy uh, for a lot of you. You might be in a phase where through the law of attraction, you're going to be manifesting or attracting a lot of your desires and intentions, anything to do with lust and passion and, and incentive or challenge, whether that's professionally, romantically, creatively, emotionally, uh, you're summoning a very strong energy here, which is very, very powerful. Now, for a lot of you, you have the Six of Wands, which has come up. Now, more fire energy here. In fact, two of the four cards is fire, so I feel like this could be in relation to a fire sign or perhaps um, more suitable to fire uh, signs those that are dealing with fire signs but not necessarily now the six of wands in this deck speaks of a journey she sees the sun guided by the sun she sits in the boat the boat is protection and this can speak of a journey there's a lot of progress that's happening with the six of wands oftentimes the six of wands is seen as a victory and i feel like something is going to fall in your favor if you're watching this feelings, um, a promotion, an incentive, an outcome, especially if it is in regarding some sort of journey, immigration status, movement forward in a situation. A lot of you are moving forward. Forgiveness is key. You're going to be moving forward in, in, in a situation because you're looking to the horizon. You're looking to the rising sun um, coming out of that darkness. You can see the dark reeds around here, but she goes into the light so it's a new dawn, you know, the stars are fading away, the night is disappearing, the darkness, things that you weren't aware of, things that you were held in despair, things are coming to light here, things are dawning on you. So this could be a lot of realizations. Now, yes, it's fire energy, but she's on an ocean of water here. So this could be involving a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. And you did have the Ten of Chalices, which is more um, water energy here. Now, it's very, these cards are very beautiful. They're very celestial. And 
I want to say in a story, as they as it flows in a story, there's a lot of energy about something that you might be embarking on. But it's going to come to a head and it's going to be make or break because the page of swords is here. He sails into or she sails into the page of swords energy. It's almost like it's it's he's on the edge of a precipice here, much like the full card in uh, this deck. So the Arthur Waite deck. But can this be read as him wanting to dip his toes in the water here? Maybe. Maybe there's someone who's experimenting with you. Maybe there's something you want to test or experiment with. Um, and you can dip your feet. You can try. It's not going to be held against you if this is what you're thinking. Or you're going to be stained with some sort of uh, preconceived notions or negative thought. This is air energy, so it can point to an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or mentally you're giving something more thought. It's almost like he's wanting to board the boat. He's ready to board the boat, so to speak. So someone might be on board with an idea, with a relationship, with a feeling. Someone is entertaining some sort of thought here. Um, maybe you've been trying to channel this person. Maybe you want to hear from them. Maybe they want to hear from you. But they're dipping their feet, so to speak. Now that reads as the story, but individually the Page of Swords is is entertains the thoughts, whether they're good thoughts or whether they're bad thoughts. He gives way to them. He gives them the time of day. Now he's wearing a mask. I don't know if you can see that from here, but he's wearing a mask that the plague doctors used to wear in the, in the 13th and the 14th century. So the mask can be ulterior motives. The mask can be that someone is not being completely honest with you right now someone is perhaps wearing a mask um, but the plague doctor wear this mask for a mask for a reason it was the beaked mask of like an ibis bird and which I'll point out here in case you can't see it and he wore it for a reason it was it sort of acted like a filter to take the scent and the disease away so I feel like there's a reason why someone is wearing a mask, but it's a credible reason, if that makes sense, because we must, if, if we're reading it symbolically, we must realize that it was a credible reason that the plague doctor used to wear this mask because it it, it filtered away that, that scent, okay, the to prevent infection, transmission. So there's a credible reason why someone is wearing a mask. It's understandable, it's relatable, it can be empathized with in, in some way here. Um, and it could be an air sign here. There could also be confusion, mental instability, mental fogginess that's coming in around you or someone you're dealing with. Um, in terms of communication, the Page of Swords is not certain. It means something is open to interpretation, something is subjective, something is not very direct and can be read in many ways or will be read in many ways by you or the people you're involved with. Now the Ten of Chalices is here. Now the Ten of Chalices in this deck, we see this adoringly loving connection. Um, these sort of lovers, blissful in the trees here. Whether they're lovers, whether they're friends, companions, um, acquaintances. They're here in this beautiful sunset energy. And they're just in bliss. They're in awe. They've got these charms, things that hang in the balance here. Um, it's a very settled card and it's also a very pretty card. It speaks of bliss and harmony and they don't see or hear anything else. They're very caught up in each other. So something is going to hold your gaze. Something very powerful is at play here and it could be this whatever leaves its, its trail. Um, it's mesmerization, essentially. It's also happily ever after. It's anything to do with love, uh, soulmates, twin flames, relationships, partnerships. You're going to be seeing eye to eye with this person. You're going to be connecting, creating memories, creating legacies. There's something very powerful at play here that's destined to come in around you. It might be with a water sign, the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, because it's ruled by the water. Now, in terms of a story, uh, the story that we have from these four cards, it indicates the power, the movement forward, the dipping the toes, and being overly oh so satisfied with what you're dipping the toes into here. So a lot of you might entertain an idea, a person, a connection, a binding, or a union, a 
client, um, a person, a spiritual entity, uh, a hobby. And you're going to connect with someone on a very powerful sense. It's another person. There's another person here. Could be a water sign or someone who's going to make you feel emotionally enriched and blissful. So this is very powerful indeed. But anything to do with unions and people are bringing you happiness. Ten, ten is a number of fulfillment because it follows the nine. Wisdom, understanding. Ten is also number one. Coming down to number one here. One and zero make one. So new beginnings. A lot of you have a new, there's a new connection that's forming, a very powerful one. Um, this person might wear a mask. Maybe they're unsure. Maybe this couple don't realize they're on the edge of a precipice. They're on something great here. You know, they're high in the tree. They're secure. This can be uh, seen as the tree of life here, deeply rooted. This could also be a third party situation for some of you. There's someone here, there's a couple, but they only see themselves. There's someone on the outskirts, standing far away, dipping their toes in something different, something new. It could be that someone is very deeply upset or confused about a situation where they see two people getting on with each other very well. And there could be someone on the outskirts here as well so a lot of messages that are open to interpretation absolutely please take them as you see fit it is a general reading but nonetheless i do hope it has ho uh, helped you don't forget to leave a like a subscribe or a share that would be much appreciated so take care enjoy and until next time